Stadium Golf Center presents Top It Off with Landon Etchings. On today's show, Landon sits down with longtime Padres broadcaster Bob Chandler and will challenge Bob to break the glass. And now from the sweet grasses of the award-winning Stadium Golf Center, here's your host, Landon Etchings. Hello and welcome to Top It Off. I have an amazing show for you today. I brought down legendary sportscaster, Mr. Bob Chandler. Bob, thanks for coming to the show today. Landon, my pleasure. Well, Bob, in all the years that you've been doing television and radio yeah. broadcasting, did you ever think that you were going to be sitting on a couch getting interviewed with a live driving range behind you? <laughs> no. No, that's the first, <laughs> no. huh? That's the no. first for you. But it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not bad. Well, Bob, we know that you're a legendary sportscaster. But let's take well, it thanks. from the beginning. From <laughs> let's take it from the beginning with you. Where are you from? Where are you originally born and raised? Well, I, I come from a Navy family. My dad was a Navy captain, so every few years we travel someplace else. And he happened to be on a destroyer off San Diego when I was born, so I was born in San Diego. All right, so and local. And then you know, from there, gosh, uh, Hawaii, uh, uh, Annapolis, Maryland, uh, Los Angeles. Uh, Virginia, San Diego, all over. No place like home, though. No place like San Diego, right? No, no. In, in fact, uh, we were here when I started high school. So I went to San Diego High for one month. And then my dad got transferred to Hawaii. So I go to, uh, to Honolulu for, for two years, went to Roosevelt High School. Our arch rival was Punahou. That was, that's Barack Obama's school. Oh, nice. And nice. then my dad gets transferred again. <laughs> So I go from running around in an Aloha shirt and go-aheads for two years sure. to Newport, Rhode Island, where the Navy War College is located. A little different. It's about six, 7,000 miles from Hawaii, and more than that in terms of culture and lifestyle right. and so forth. I mean, they have snow there. It's cold. That's a whole know, different thing there. than Hawaii, that's for sure. And, and come on, New England and you know Southern California and Hawaii. A totally different lifestyle. A totally different lifestyle. Well, it's not bad to go from San Diego to Hawaii, but then to, yeah. well, that's, a, that's yeah. a little bit of a jump there. Yeah, but that made me realize when they asked me, where do you want to go to college? I thought, you know, I kind of like to go back to San Diego. <laughs> yeah, I'm So right. I came back to San Diego to go to school in San Diego State, and I've been here ever since, and that was uh, 1956. 1956. Yeah. Well, we know that you've been the distinct voice of the Padres for over 30 years. Yeah. Now, how did you get into that? When did that all start for you? Well, when I... Uh, when I came from uh, Rhode Island to San Diego to go to college, I'm a pretty good baseball player in Rhode Island. So I, I go out on the practice field. I'm going to be a great baseball player. I mean, that's my, my goal. Right. It took about 20 minutes to realize the quality of Southern California baseball and the quality of baseball in Northeast, you know, is night and day. So I realized, no, you're not going to be a great star. <laughs> so I thought, well, I, I love baseball so much. The next best thing would be a baseball announcer. Yeah, right. So I started off as a freshman at San Diego State, deciding that's what I want to do. Yeah. And I would bring a tape recorder out to the San Diego State baseball games and practice doing play-by-play. Uh, -play. Fortunately, none of, <laughs> so <laughs> Fortunately none of those tapes exist anymore. So can we get a hand on some of those tapes? We'd love to get some of that live audio. <laughs> and the baseball coach then was a guy named Charlie Smith. The field is named after him at San Diego State. And he was nice enough. I would take the tapes in, and he'd listen to them and tell me, oh, no, Bob, you can't say that. Oh, no, don't do that. So I had a chance to make a lot of mistakes sure. as, a, as a college yeah. student. Now, you were with the Padres for how long? Well, I, I started, uh, just to build up to that, I went from Channel 8 to Channel 10 right. in TV sports. Right. And then I was hired at Channel 39 as sports director. And so they got the Padre telecast. Uh, so uh, they had, actually, I did the Coast League Padres for one year. Yeah, PC, yeah. And then uh, the Major League Padres uh, I did on Channel 39 in 1970 and 71. And from that, the Padres hired Jerry Coleman and right. yeah. as their broadcast team starting in 1972. Okay. So it was 72 up until, uh, you know, two, about 2004. Now, do you miss it? I do, sure. Yeah. I mean, I loved it. Yeah, right. I, I mean, I never had to work. Right. You know, there's yeah. no heavy lifting, you right. know, you just uh, <laughs> go eat the food in the press box and write your lineup down and do the game. Oh, it sounds like a fantastic it job was. to me. It, it was sounds great. like I loved every minute. <laughs> well, Bob, we're going to take a short break right now. And then when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about your book here that I've got on my desk okay. and a little bit about some more about some Padre memories that you right. have. All right. Okay, sure. So we'll be right back. The Stadium Golf Center Academy provides you with professional golf instruction along with the benefits of unlimited participation options. 
With a wide variety of daily classes, flexible golf lessons are available at your convenience. Take as many lessons as you like, covering a wide range of topics for one low monthly price. The Academy makes it easy to learn at your own pace. We invite you to get started today. Individual sessions are available for just $29. Or take advantage of our best offer, just $99 for unlimited monthly sessions. So go ahead, give us a call today, because here at Stadium Golf Center, we care about your game. Welcome back. I've got Bob Chandler, legendary sportscaster down here. And Bob, the first time around, we talked a little about where you're from. Yeah. Now let's get into your book, Tales from the San Diego Padres. Yes. We got a favorite memory in this book here. It's a great book. I know we got tons of memories in here, but you got one you really like? Well, well, thank you. I, you know, the whole book is just vignette stories that I remember mm -hmm. from my time. I mean, not a lot of statistics or anything like that, just different stories. But you know, there, there was one uh, story involving Tony Gwynn, I think was kind of interesting. Yeah, we know him. Yeah. It was early, early in his career. And Dick Williams was the manager of the Padres. And Tony didn't run out of ground ball. And Dick Williams, he, he didn't put up with that kind of right. thing. He took Tony out of the game, pulled him out, put an outfielder named Bobby Brown in the game. So later in the game, Bobby Brown drops a fly ball and the Padres lose the game. So the next day, Tony comes in. He's still a little steamed about being taken out of the sure, game. Sure, sure. And uh, Dick Williams calls him in and says, Tony, you know, it was your fault that we lost that game yesterday. Tony says, well, how could it be my fault? You took me out of the game. And he said, yeah, I took you out of the game because you didn't hustle on that ball. If you had hustled, you would have still been in the game. You would have caught that fly ball that Bobby Brown dropped. So it was your fault. And Tony said, you know what? It was a lesson I never forgot, and I never didn't run out of ground ball after that the rest of my career. I was going to say, Tony, I, he ran out every ground ball I, that I remember. That yeah, must have been the one yeah. that I missed there. Yeah, huh? and that was very early. Wow. <laughs> now, do you have a favorite Padre of all time? Well, Tony has to rank right yeah, up there. Yeah, I would you know, think I so. Mean, there, there are a lot of them. There are so many are good friends. and uh, uh, But Tony and maybe Tim Flattery. That's another know, good one, yeah. His effort and, uh, uh, those are the two that come to mind. Now, what about a, a favorite Padre coach? Somebody you liked over the years that you really thought they did a good job? Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, I, I still play golf with, with three of them. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. did today with uh, Roger Craig and Bob Skinner and Norm Sherry. So let's call it a three-way tie. There you go. Guys. There you go. That's not a bad one there. That's not a bad group to go there. Now, Bob, let's talk about a little bit about the current state of the San Diego Padres. Yeah. No owner. And we're in the middle of that ownership. Now, the O'Malley brothers have partnered up with Phil Mickelson. What do we think about that? Uh, is that it, now, it had, nothing's gone through yet, but if, they, if that goes through, is that a good idea? I, I think Phil Mickelson? Is. Yeah, I, I, think it, I think it's terrific that Phil's involved. Yeah. I mean, my gosh, yeah, every time uh, he plays in a tournament, and he does play it a lot, <laughs> yeah, you know, all does. the majors, yeah. uh, how, how many times do you think it's going to be mentioned? Yeah, Phil Mickelson, you know, now one of the owners of the Padres. Right. You know? Might even wear Padre colors every now and That'd then. It'd be nice to see you that, huh? Even talk about it. I mean, I, I remember Phil as, as a kid, you know, mm -hmm. and his, his family, they were huge baseball fans. Right. They came to the stadium uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. And so Phil is a legitimate fan, knows the game, and, knows it. and loves all sports. So that, that can only be a positive. Well, Bob, we're going to take another quick short break. Right now, we're going to go to Mike Noakes, who an uh, instructor that you might have uh -huh. worked with in the past yes, there. I huh? Had. Well, Mike Noakes is a PGA instructor down here, and he, what he's going to do is going to give us a quick tip and then we'll come back, and then we're going to get into Mr. Bob Chandler's golf game. You ready for that? By the way, Mike told me that in high school he was a better baseball player than his brother who <laughs> played in the big leagues. <laughs> He's going to say that every day of his life. He says that to me all the time. Well, let's go see Mike, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mike Noakes, PGA teaching professional here at Stadium Golf Center. Today I'm going to show you how to hit a couple of shots, one where the ball is below your feet, and one where the ball's above your feet. When the ball's below your feet, you're gonna to need to make sure you get down to the ball by bending your knees and your back. Because of the lie angle, the ball will tend to fade. So what you're gonna to need to do is to aim left of your target and take one more club. And this should help you with the ball below your feet. Now let's go to the one with the ball above your feet. Now that the ball is above your feet, you're gonna choke down on the club. And this is to keep you from hitting it fat. And because of the lie angle, the ball is gonna to tend to draw. So you're going to aim a little bit to the right and you're going to take one less club. If you have any questions about this or any other part of your game, you can contact me at MikeNokes.com. Back to you, Lando. Thanks, Mike Noakes, for that quick tip. 
I'm back here with sportscaster Bob Chandler. Bob, now let's talk about your golf game. How's your golf game these days? <laughs> well, it's not as good as I would like it to be. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, I, I would, yes, most golfers say that. I love the game, Landon. Absolutely love the game. I play it a lot. I'm not very good, but I love to play. Now, how often are you playing? Well, at one time we used to play every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, then it went to Monday and Friday. And now it's Monday and then occasionally, you know. <laughs> so progressively you've gotten a little, yeah, a little go. less every day. Now, are you there still you playing? I, you said earlier you're still playing with Skinner and Sher Sherry and the boys. Yeah, yeah, with uh, Roger Craig, Bob Skinner, and, and Norm Sherry. In fact, i got a story for sure, you. All, all three of those guys have been fired as a major league manager. <laughs> and so when Bruce Bochy was the, with the Padres, sure. I told him, hey, I just played with three uh, guys who have all been fired as major league managers. He said, who's that? I, so I told him, he says, I'll tell you one thing, Bob. I'm never playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. That's an excellent point. If you're a major league manager, I wouldn't want to play with you either. <laughs> well, Bob, let's get into your bag. We got yeah. the bag here. Yeah. What, kind of, what kind of irons do we play? What, what's in Bob Chandler's bag? Well, by the way, I think I got this bag here. Uh, well, this, of course. I, I mean, it's a good-looking bag. Yeah. Golf Center, yeah. That's great. Uh, the red and black for my, my Aztec uh, that, days. That's great. Uh, I'm pretty much tailor-made. Okay. The driver and the three-wood and a couple of hybrids that I picked up along the way. Good. Great clubs, by the way. And and then a little bit of a, a two-ball I see here. There Honestly, two-ball. Nice. Yes, yes. I, I may have to stand it in the corner for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so the, the, the putts weren't dropping too Not, well not today. today. <laughs> you got to put it on timeout for a couple of weeks there, huh? Yeah. Well, Bob, we're going to play a game now. Okay. It's called Play With or Play Through. All right. Simple. But we're going to do a little different today. Normally, I show you one individual face, but today I'm going to give you three guys. And in these three guys, you just got to say, am I going to play with that group or am I going to play through that group? All right? All right. Simple enough. So here's the first three guys I'm going to show you. Ready? All right. So I got Trevor Hoffman, Tony Gwynn, and Teddy Leitner. How do we think? Are we playing with this group or are we going to play through this group? <laughs> well... Sure, I've, I've already played with that group. <laughs> I, mean, I played with Tony. I don't think I've ever played with Trevor, but I'm sure we've had a lot of talks. Ted Leitner doesn't play golf. Doesn't? Doesn't Not play golf, but I mean, we broadcast a lot of games together <laughs> and uh, had a lot of good times together. So you, uh, would, you know, he, he would talk too much on the golf course. That would be hard. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be tough to play with Leitner, huh? <laughs> now, here's the second group I'm going to give you. Yeah. This one I was wondering on here a little bit. I've got a couple different people here. So the next three here, are we playing with? Are playing through this threesome right here. I got Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, and Mr. Mark McGuire. An interesting threesome here, Mr. <laughs> Chandler. Are we playing with or are we playing through these three right here? You know, I'd probably play through those guys. Probably play, uh, play through those, those guys. Through. You know, I, uh, uh, in my opinion, Hank Aaron still holds the all time home run record. And Roger Maris still holds the single season home run. I love it. I love it. I have seen uh, Mark McGuire hit a golf ball. He does hit it a long way. I can way. only imagine that guy hits it a long ways. I can only imagine it yeah. a long ways. Well, Bob, we're going to take one final break. And then we'll, to close out our show, we're going to see if you can break our stadium golf center glass. It's kind of like the big break, but it's a little different, our own little version. We got your sticks. We're going to see your action. You good with that? All right, but I'll tell you what, if I don't, I'm blaming it on Scott Malberg and Mike Nose because they're the ones that have tried to help me down here. <laughs> okay, well then we'll, we'll put it right on them. So we'll take that break and come back and see if Mr. Chandler can break that glass. You know, golf is played under the sun, and that's why Stadium Golf Center carries a great selection of the number one sunglass on tour, Oakley. They are customizable and fashionable while offering you great performance and protection from the sun. Notice the difference reading the green between the inferior glasses on the left and the high quality Oakley brand on the right. You can see why the pros wear Oakley. Wear what the pros do and play your best golf by making the ultimate eyewear part of your game. Stop by Stadium Golf Center today and pick up your pair of Oakley eyewear. Welcome back. Well, Bob, to close out our show, we're going to give you three shots to break our Stadium Golf Center glass. If you do that, our good customer over here, Jeff Lee, is going to win a copy of your Tales of the San Diego Padres book and a Callaway golf towel. All right, so good luck. Go Here get them. All, All right. right, we'll see what you got there. Here we got go. Three balls down there. Here we go. What do we got, Bob? What are we hitting here? Okay, hitting a pitching wedge. All right. Because, uh, you know, I can shank a pitching wedge and like <laughs> knock it right through. That's all right. I like it. Let's, let's knock all it right, right through. Get up. Oh, that's all right. My direction was not too bad, but yeah, a little low. Right. A little low. Get up. 
Oh, oh, oh. Got it up a little more. So close. Just a little so, bit more. All right, I think this is it. the grand finale. The grand finale right let's here. Let's see if I can get a little clump. All right, there we go. All right, Bob, let's see you right here. Okay. Get down. Oh, <laughs> hey, good try there, Bob. We appreciate you coming on the show, Mr. All Chandler, right. taking My time pleasure, out of your video today. Hey, no one goes home a loser, Jeff, so you're going to get a signed copy of the San Diego Padres book from Mr. Bob Chandler Good here. Deal. So Thank no you. one go home is a, a loser. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bob, again, we appreciate you coming down on the My show. Pleasure, Randy. Hey, you want to know more about Bob's book, you can go to Barnes & Nobles or you can even get it online, all right? Thanks for watching our show today. We hope to see you down here at Stadium Golf Center and always remember to top it off. <laughs>